Pew, pew, pew. You, 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 you. What is going on, my mere mortal lights? We are here for another round of the meanderings. We're not in our normal spot because no. that is the, the danger zone over there. Uh -huh. get, get told off by the police for not wearing our masks. That's and, right. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel pretty safe in this area unless some of these kids behind us want to come and infect me. So. Well, remember that the kids themselves don't have to be wearing masks. I know. Have, Virus yeah. doesn't go around if you're a kid. No, actually, someone actually. Uh, uh, this is my little meandering for today. Okay. Um, today we're talking about meanderings, folks. We're talking about whatever just shit random comes stuff, to mind. Random comes. stuff. I'm current. That's one. Yep. So something that uh, someone actually at work brought up. They said that the whole thing of um, people, if you're eating, you're allowed to have no masks, right? But when you're standing up, hmm. then you have to have some. Then the other topic as well was if you're if you're walking around as well, you can. If you have food, you don't have to have a mask. But then you have to have a mask on, if that isn't the case. Yeah. Anyways, someone I think someone said something. And I was like, "Oh, you've solved it. You've, you've made the solution for COVID. If everyone in the world just sits down at the same time, then that's it. <laughs> We're it's done. over. We're finished. <laughs> we so, got it. There's a little bit more. Uh, tip number one: Everybody in the world just sit down. Nice. And, uh, we'll nice. have ended it, and we can go from there. Yeah. Well, you dived into that sort of stuff a bit. I was. Uh, someone was messaging me, and they're like, "Oh yeah, what's the situation in Brisbane?" And I was like, "I don't Who know." Who said this? Uh, just a dude I chatted with the other day. Okay, yeah. uh, Aussie Pete. Pete from Aussie English. Aussie Pete. If you wanna, if you wanna know more of my backstory. You can go over to um, his channel. Once again, I think uh, it was probably one of the longer podcasts he's had on his. I looked that up. I think okay. people like talking to me. Um, What's I going on, man? Okay, you got you to tell me. You, you're starting to get... I, I feel the ego getting stroked here. Why, why are you enjoying like being the longest talker? Because I'm, I'm just... I compare it to when it's a long book. Sometimes mm. long books pretty shit. Yeah, that is what, true. What's what's the thoughts? Why why is it? I I think most of it is because I'm not really the one talking. Like I, I feel, doing I feel like talking? a good conversation for me is one where maybe it's like meant to be directed at me, but it ends up switching on them, and they're the ones doing most yes, of the talking. Yeah. Like you incite them to talk, and it's all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty mm. interesting. Okay. I mean, Jace, right. Jace mentioned it in in his one. He was like, oh man, like even just in the intro, he was he was saying, oh man, I felt like I was just blabbing a lot in this, and I was like, no, no. no. I mean, I didn't say this to him, but I was mm. just thinking, no, that's, for me, that's a good thing. That's well, like, it's interesting. Yeah. I've been seeing, it's definitely been the one that most so far that conversation you had with Jay's from Gypsy Tales of for sure. people actually calling it out on, you know, on Instagram and on social being like, oh, this was a really cool yeah. listen. So that's definitely been the biggest ones I've seen so far. Yeah. I mean, well, he's just a, he's got a big channel. So that, that sort that of makes probably sense Probably also as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a... Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, shout outs. I've got a couple of shout outs now. I, mm. I might even save it until the sun's not directly me shining so into people your can actually face. See, yeah. see what I'm talking about. Uh, the sun will slowly go down, but maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. Yeah, stay yeah. tuned. Obviously, you could probably see it in the video, but uh, stay tuned if you're listening to yep, the audio. Sure. So, so today I had two things I wanted to talk about. The first one is uh, my mere mortal moment, which is Kyron is a confirmed Weibo and simp. Confirmed so, Weibo and Simp. And Simp. Okay. You know what a Simp is? And Simp. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know Simp is, yep. yeah. yeah no, Explain uh, it to the people at home because they probably don't know. Both, both a Weibo and a Simp. Well, actually, you're the one who told me about Weibos mm. and from what I gather, it's just into Asian culture. Is that Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess we could define it as that. Yeah, okay. Because I, I, you're the one who told me about that uh, not too long ago. Uh, and Simp is just um, a, a guy who will unnecessarily go uh, like fall too hard for a girl. So he's like, you know, the nice guy. He's the guy who... Uh, gets put in the friend zone, things like that. So, uh, I got a got a confession one. Oh, I yes. do like anime and I do like manga. Okay. Uh, this has actually been around for a while. So I got into this stuff. I think uh, I'm gonna say like six, seven years. Mm -hmm. No, more than that. I'm gonna say ten years ago. At least ten years ago. Right, more so than when you more were than what? that. Yeah, fifteen yeah. years ago. Yeah. That, this that, has that. only been your 14, 15 years. Old. Yeah, 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 for sure. So. Obviously, everyone starts off with like Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, you have to, yeah. things like that. But that's like a kid show, so you don't you see that more as a cartoon rather than like an anime. Sure, I yeah. guess. And then yeah, I just found found some you know the classic ones that everyone watches or reads: One yep. Piece, Naruto, Ooh. Naruto, Naruto. Um, and yeah, and I found one the other day called Record of Ragnarok. Have you heard of this? Record of Ragnarok. Yeah, no. this plays perfectly into just the the kind of shit that I like okay. from anime, which is. Gratuitous violence, violence. Uh, very random. Um, it's it's just uh, and and sort of involving mythology as well. So this okay. one is just pure mythology, man. It's like basic plot line. There's all these gods up in the sky, and there's like every god you can random imagine. mythology or just like like all, all, like, when like I say random, mix. I mean like all of okay, so like all Greek, well Indian, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, so okay. so in this, it's like all the gods are up in the sky. They're like man, these humans, they're a bummer. Mm. Let's kill them all. And then one of the Valkyries is like, no, wait, there's this thing, which is uh, if a god fights a human, you can have like a tournament. And if the humans win, then they get to live. 
And the that's gods are cool. like, that's pretty cool. yeah, okay. And so they've got things Feels like, like a bit of an unfair battle here. <laughs> you'd think so. You would think so until you're then watching like uh, it's Zeus versus uh, Adam from the Garden of Eden, for example. Yeah. Um, Holy crap. Okay, no, I have seen that exact seen, battle. Yeah. I've seen that exact battle because, and I was going to interject and say, look, I wouldn't say that I'm a massive, massive uh, anime slash manga person. However, mm. I saw that exact clip on yeah. on uh, on TikTok. And all like I can remember, I know exactly what it is. It is Zeus is going absolutely <laughs> ham, right? So it's like Zeus, like Jack, He's right? Bold. Zach. Yeah. And he like he moves his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. Movement. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and just like smashes it around, going around. But Adam's like, oh, slightly moving, just very eloquently. And all of a sudden, he starts moving his feet too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, I gotta say though, that got me excited. I was like, I would, yeah, I dude, would watch this. I would watch it. It's, uh, it's so it's on Netflix actually, of, right, of all okay. places. And yeah, so the the first battle was. Oh, Damn it. Blank on the first one. Second was Zeus versus uh, Adam. Mm. The third was Poseidon versus... Do uh, you know the guy who... Not Miyamoto Musashi. Mm-hmm. Not him. It was the guy, like his most famous battle. The guy, that guy. Right, uh, okay. I can't, yeah, I've forgotten his name. Sure. Uh, another like master swordsman. Mm. It was those two. And then the first one was... Thor versus... Uh, it's like Sun Lu or Sun Li or something. And it okay, was just like right. this ancient dude and what i really like about this is there's like random ones thrown in so i'd never heard about this like sun li guy before mm. just a ancient chinese warrior, warrior general who was like yeah mad mad cool and yep. then in the anime of course he's super mad Amazing. cool as yeah, well yeah. and yeah man I, I was just uh i was getting into it and i was like man this is this is my type of yeah. thing like random shit you know who, when am i ever go, else gonna see like zeus versus adam exactly. from the garden of eden this sort of stuff that you would chill out to yeah, yeah for sure and so this got me thinking of uh, pure entertainment what mm. is up your alley in terms of pure entertainment what does Juan do when he's mm. you know Good. not not uh you know you're you're listening to your podcast and your stuff and then there's that jo- just day that that day when you go nah, man i don't i don't want to i don't want to i think it's easy and i don't know why it reverts to this so often but I think it probably also touches on a younger one, which is anything to do with sports. That's my like okay. pure enjoyment yep. ends up being either something sporting related or something related to fitness or some you know vlogger out there who I just wanted like check out. Not I'm never a pure enjoyment for me or pure entertainment. It's not like oh I'm going to find new clothing or outfits. Nah, mm. none of that. But specifically, specifically. So, so the- when you say the sport though, mm. so most people I'm guessing when they think of sport is if they're there's either like the casual viewers, which might be someone not. A, I wouldn't even put myself in that category. I'm a bit beyond that. Mm. But the the person who will tune in for a big event, for example, so like the sure. Olympics are coming up, they'll tune into some stuff. And then there's a person who's you know into that team, Specifically, do or die. Yeah, yeah. Like no, I'm going to watch every uh, game. What I meant by the pure entertainment here was, uh, I'll give you an example. I will go on I'll just, into YouTube, uh, biggest sixes ever. In yeah, cricket. okay, yeah, and that's yeah. what I would watch. I'll, nice. I'll go yeah. watch like four videos of that and. I'll probably have watched those exact same four videos probably 12 times out, but I'll just go watch them again. Yeah, yeah, uh, most sure. recently, I watched the the best soccer goals of the last uh, like decade, decade in EPL. Yeah. yeah, 25 minutes long. Yeah, I'm just going to watch that. Nice, That's nice, kind of like yeah. my pure entertainment. Something to do with like sporting slash fitness that I go, yeah, that's totally up my alley. It relaxes me. I always find it cool. Like no matter what, I'll always find it cool. I'll always find uh, the, uh, one of the other latest one was... Ibrahimovic is now playing in the US league. Okay, yeah. And the whatever team he was playing, it was like he was losing three nil and then just this montage of like Ibrahimovic being like no, just, based, just, yeah, I gotta go, just, so. just wait. And I think he came in at the fortieth or fiftieth minute anyway, they won four three and he scored <laughs> two goals. And it was just like crazy. But stuff like that, I go, Oh yeah, this is just like up my alley. Yeah. It's cool, it's exciting, yeah. it's and like so, the best bitch. And so is it is it the story behind it as well? So Yeah, a little bit of the story. Or, or but more also, just what's actually happening on the on the pitch, like an appreciation for Oh, probably a duality yeah. of it. The appreciation plus the level of oh, there's that storyline or mm. you know, there are a clear example that I always watch is the Broncos game versus Cowboys grand final yeah, where that was, that was just a story. Yeah. I remember I watched it live and so when I rewatched it, I go, I remember those moments. I know the story of what's happening and it's got a little drama to it. Mm. So that's like my type of drama. If I had to watch a, a like a particular, it wouldn't even be Netflix. It'd be something like that. Yeah, yeah. Although I must say, watching just that one minute clip on TikTok made me go, dang, I would I would spend my time to go and watch this. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. The, honestly, man, you can find them on YouTube as well. I've, I've mm. managed to watch 
some of them onto YouTube and then I realized like, oh shit, that's actually on Netflix. And so I jumped onto Netflix as well and, and sort of jumped between the two. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, there's enough on YouTube that you can watch the full thing. Sure, um, yeah. If you, if you wanted to. Mm. Uh, yeah, for me, I would... I would Definitely say not full game, so I wouldn't mm. tune into a full soccer match anymore. My, no. my days of that are done. But yeah, like I definitely, the other day was looking up like top 10, because uh, I listened to a podcast on field hockey. So I was yep. looking up like best field hockey goals. And yeah, so I was just watching that for 10 minutes until I realized like, oh, okay, this this could go very far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've not, um, yeah, I don't want to go this deep today. Um, Sometimes my pure enjoyment watching also comes when, um, I might be having lunch or I might be doing something else and sometimes I would be listening to a podcast or doing something that's productive but I think we've talked about this enough where I'm just like ah oh, look I just want to I just want to chill out I really just want to chill out yeah. eat food do whatever and just not be thinking about all the other stuff that's along so normally my pure enjoyment or those sort of things are like yep easy don't have to think about it it's consumable it like spikes my endorphins or whatever it may be for my chemical reaction I'm like yeah this is good especially uh, I don't do this anymore because it's not as, not that it's not as uh, consistent, but I didn't want to become dependent on it. But I used to watch uh, big rugby hits before a workout. Okay. And so I'd be like, big rugby hits. Yeah, yeah. I'd watch and I'd always just be like pumped up, be like, ready <laughs> to go. Like if I watch a, a footy game, and I've got to be careful of this, if I watch a footy game at night and I'm too amped up afterwards, either because the, game, like the team lost and I'm annoyed or something else, I struggle to sleep yeah, okay. for a while. So sometimes if, say, like State of Origin, when yeah. the team was like, I prefer to go, I'm not going to watch any of this and just be completely devout of thinking about it because if I get really stuck into it, I'm going to have trouble sleeping afterwards. Yeah, so. gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, for me, I think uh, the only time I really struggle to sleep is when, yeah, it, it would definitely be a lot of um, screen time just before bed mm. or if I'm doing something like, sort of like work-related. So if I'm doing like podcast editing just before bedtime yeah. and then trying to switch from immediately from that into sleep mode that no i can't do that See, you're I, probably okay i'm insanely that. Yeah. good and that's yeah. you know you read about it everywhere with sleeping especially because i deep dive so many months into it i was like yes make sure you take away you know your screen use one hour two hours 90 minutes beforehand and block uh, block your blue light etc et yeah and i think by the by that is a generally good tip but definitely doesn't apply to me because uh, sometime through this week, I do recall I knocked off from work at hours at 2 in the morning on Mon Tuesday. So I came home, hmm. worked until 2 a.m. on Tuesday, and literally rolled off just looking at the screen. I would be working for like 15 hours. W- rolled off into my bed, slept straight away. Damn. Like, sl- like there was no in between, tactic, no man. anything. Yeah, so yeah. I have no problem with any of that. It's just more when I get like amped up or something, then it's it's a struggle to get that emotion back down. Yeah, the chemicals. for sure. Mm. For sure. Damn. What about um, movies? We've talked about movies before. Any movie, like None. guilty pleasure movies? None. No. Yeah, I, I can't say. I Maybe like I, I used to watch Ad Infinitum, the first Ocean's Eleven, because oh, I yeah. had that. That was probably one of the first things I had. It wasn't even on DVD. It was one of those. Do you remember those recorders where you would like... It was Those sort like of cassette ones. Yeah, yeah, okay. and it, it wasn't it wasn't VCR. It was just something that you could use to record, like Foxtel, for example. Oh, like yes, there was a I button on the yep, remote, yep. a big red button, mm, which and you could like record. Through. Yeah, yeah. So I had that recorded, recorded somewhere, yeah. and so I could just watch it over yeah. and over and over. I, I, I'm really struggling to think about maybe like the Harry Potter movies, but I can't remember like rewatching a movie. Oh, really? Like actually, me going, I'm going to rewatch this yeah, movie. I don't okay, think that's okay. ever happened. Yeah, uh, I've, I've definitely did it for that and for The Longest Yard because I had Longest that on, v- on DVD and that mm. was pretty funny, yeah. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, I yeah, there you go, there you go. Uh, I wanted to say one that I'm, I'm reverting to pure savagery as well. Pure so, savagery. Yeah, so this is actually really nice. This is a, a nice one. So we, we've followed my, my journey over the past you know month, if you've been listening at all, to uh-huh. Cutting stuff out of my routine yes. of, and and just continually trying to do more and there's probably some more coming in the future as well. But uh, one of the things that uh, I was hoping and actually did happen from mm-hmm. this was uh, I'm doing more exercise. So I was I used to do like seven days a week and if I missed a day I'd split that day in half and put it on two other days and I was consistent, very mm-hmm. consistent. Uh, when the podcast started getting to a deeper level and I was realizing like oh okay, I'm needing to put a lot more effort into this. Mm-hmm. This was probably, uh, it probably started around August last year. So yep. almost a year ago. That was when I noticed like, oh, okay, 
I'm, I'm having to skip. It's impacting on other it's, things. It's, yeah, it's not necessarily that it was a higher priority than the than the um, exercise at that time, mm. but it was gradually getting there. And then it probably reached its zenith, yeah, February, March of, of this year, so a couple of months ago, where I was realizing like, oh, today I do have the time and it's, you know, not raining or anything, but... I need to get this done today. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I can't go for a workout today. And mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, I I remember telling you that and you were like, no, nah, I would never do that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I didn't like it. So uh, well, what, what has happened from this is now, okay, I definitely am having more time. So I am spending that extra time. This week was perfect example. Mm -hmm. Raining all throughout a month or two months ago, I would have just been like, nah, I'm like, weather's too much. I can't do this stuff. Like, whatever i'll mm. use this as, as an excuse to not to not do that yeah. and go into something else yeah uh but no this week i was like okay i'll just do whatever i can at home so i, I did you know the my all my handstand stuff in one day whereas mm. normally i'd split it across like two days or three sure. days and then today i was at the park for uh, uh, yeah a solid three hours just doing uh weighted like weighted chin-ups weighted pull-ups mm. then more pull-ups i did three rounds of uh, yeah, three rounds of kipping muscle ups, three rounds of um, muscle ups with bands assisted. Mm. And so I was like, man, I'm gonna, hurt. I'm gonna hurt tomorrow for yep. sure. That's that's definitely in the cards. Uh, but on Friday, it was one of those days where it was a half and half. Like, ah, mm. uh, the weather says you know, 15% chance of rain, mm. but I don't know what sort of rain that's going to be. Is it going to be a light drizzle? Looked outside, you know, I saw a little bit of sun coming through, and I just went. Okay, I'm gonna Let's do, do it. it. Yep. I'm gonna do it. So I went out there and yeah, was fine for the first hour was, until it started raining. Was until it started to drizzle a bit. And okay. this is actually another good point, which was uh, my friend from uh, the park who I sometimes see there, Jesse, came along, mm. and Jesse had his stuff up. And when it started to drizzle, I was thinking like, mm, if I was on my own, I would just be getting all my stuff down, moving it undercover, and seriously thinking about whether I should be out here because in five minutes' time, it's probably gonna get heavier. Sure. Yep. And then uh, I was just, sit but he was there as well. And he was like, sort of not caring about it. And so you're like, we, man, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I did move all my stuff away, but then came back and kept on exercising. Mm -hmm. And then, man, it started to pour, oh. pour down. And I had two sets left of these like big rounds where I'll do like pull-ups, oh, yes, pull yeah. chin-ups, um, uh, dips, push-ups, like all the good mm -hmm. stuff. And man, I just did it in like the oh, soaking savage. wet. Like, yeah. And I felt... A pure savage man i haven't felt like that since i was in argentina and it was so cold that it took me 10 minutes just to get the rings up yep. because it my hands were cold. so cold so uh yeah that uh reverting back to savagery was um was, it was a nice fun little for a thing. bit yeah. yeah yeah and i i think it's a, a sign of more good things to come so there you go good like, i yeah. wouldn't suggest everybody to be savage all the time but definitely it's good to know that you've got it in in capacity and reserve to to yeah. Pull it when, out when, when was the when was the last time you felt like a a real savage? Probably like you five say? minutes ago. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> although it's it's interesting you say that because I had a I wouldn't say opposite opposite sort of story, but uh, so lockdown came into play in Brisbane from Tuesday six p.m. I think that was. Yeah, I don't know, let's say that um, I didn't work out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Didn't work out, and it wasn't in the case that was, I couldn't have worked out. Yeah, I just could have just gone outside, could have gone for a run. Were the gyms closed? Yes, okay. the everyone's closed. The only thing you could do was go outside, really, and go for a run. And I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna. Not not even in the sense of like they're running. Yeah, yeah. They're not running even in the people. sense of. Uh, it's not because I don't want to. I was like, ah, oh, like I don't like. I'm choosing in the sense of like I'm happy to just take a couple of days off. That's fine. Hmm. And then Saturday morning, I went for a workout. Not my normal workout, not a gym workout, but a, a different type of workout, like a group workout uh, with a lot of people. And you basically pay like a dollar coin donation, uh, and it's like an hour's sort of workout with a lot of people. Where's that at? Uh, and it was down in Logan. So. Okay. Went in there and I got to tell you, it was so, first of all, it was super fun because lots of Islander people. So it was lots of music playing in the background. Everybody was mm. just like talking to each other, patting each other in the back. Like everyone was like really pumped up. And I just went absolutely ham. So I went, now nah. I like woke up knowing, cool, I can work out again. I haven't worked out for a couple of days. I do feel fresh. I felt wrecked from, from a lot of workouts. And I just went in there and I was just like blasting as fast as possible everything. And I think I did like, there was a bit where I did 30 uh, um, burpees, 30 burpees, like as fast as I possibly could. I like, got a little bit of water, went again. And I just felt like, oh, just, just savage. And I was finishing 
Uh, there would have been, I don't know, 70 odd people. Now, all of them were sort of fit, not like super fit, but I was finishing first every single time, being like, yeah, there is nobody who's going to win here. I'm like, I'm going to be so competitive. Yeah, yeah. So I felt sad. It's like that savage being, uh, having having the capacity to be savage when you need it to be. And I, then I was just like, yeah. But it was in a fun way. Like, it was one of those where I just felt savage while I was doing it. And then I'd get up and be like, so pumped up and I'd be dancing and I'd be like clapping people on. It was a really good workout. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah nice. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm glad you have fun, yeah. man. Those, because those can sometimes be a bit iffy, depending on the. They can, they can, but this one was tep- they, they definitely like an Islander type of group workout, and those are always fun. Yeah, always, gotcha, always gotcha. fun. So, I doing burpees fast seems silly to me because you really want to be jumping high. That's that's re- right. That's like the point of a, of a burpee. You go down and then you jump up high. Oh, it depends on the burpee. I think the by absolute technical definition, I think it's you're supposed to jump up. 12 to somewhere 12 inches above your sort of like reach point or something like that that's like a 12 inches super defined that's pretty burping. high isn't it mm. that's oh, like, it'd be like uh it's like 30 I mean, centimeters yeah yeah so it's a pretty big yeah it's yeah. pretty good little hop so it's supposed yeah, to make you want to like actually go hot. that's yeah because when i say most people do burpees they'll get up and just and they but yeah they won't jump they'll simply just let their legs pop come up, up. Yeah, just like pop up and yeah. go back down. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, look, do whatever you want, but for I me, I was basically I would jumping assume. as high as possible too. I was like jumping like yeah, freaking. Okay. Out. I was going beyond twelve. I was like bouncing off the bloody floor. That's just how. Yeah. Well, I just felt so energetic that yeah, morning. It was nice, unbelievable. Nice. So awesome, man. Awesome. Mm. All right. Well, I'll uh, do my little shout out. So, oh, yes. if you can't see here. I've got my my family shirt on. So, mad respect to the mm-hmm. the family podcast. I've been tuning into them for a long time. Uh, one of the first people I really connected with when we started doing this um, this podcasting jersey uh, journey, I should say. And uh, look at this one. They so they I should make an NFT out of this shirt somehow. But so they got a barcode on it, mm. and I'm number one. I'm number one, baby. Is it zero 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 one? Very cool. So they I had, like that it's got they a barcode. Had, they had a like twenty five um, of these shirts, and mm-hmm. so I'm one of them. So very uh, cool. You Number know, one the kids one. nowadays would be like, whoa, that's like a real life NFT. I'm like, hell yeah, it is. Real life NFT, yeah. Real life <laughs> NFT. The other one is the uh, Zen podcast. Uh, I'm sorry, the Zen Garage. And mm-hmm. I don't know if he calls it the Zen podcast. He sometimes has, he sometimes does. Justin, mm-hmm. Justin, uh, I love the love the Beanie Man. And this uh, actually accomplished good. one of my, my goals from yes. uh, <laughs> from June to, to get a new beanie. A beanie. And yeah, man, I got to say, like um, buying buying some stuff with, the a connection to the person mm. actually I, I, now, I now get it i mm. now get it like 29 years after uh of of, of life and now i'm like oh okay now i, I understand am, now i understand why you would buy something from a particular a, person yeah even though it's like not the cheapest and mm. it's basically the same thing but it's like no okay i sort of get it now i'm a, i'm i'm struggling to think if that's the same attachment like say people have to louis vuitton like is it is it that level of attachment where they, they go, <sighs> brand, like I love that brand. Like imagine you, you've listened to the family podcast for a while. Yeah. You kind of connect with those guys and so you purchase yeah. the things. It's cool wearing it. But does someone really connect to what Louis Vuitton is producing yeah, that's, and uh, manufacturing to go, oh, I feel that same way when they wear it to spend that much? I just don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know anyone who does that. Mm. I'm, I'm sure there are. Uh, but yeah, I don't personally know some someone like that. Next time I, I see someone if they talk talking like that i'll have to ask him like yeah, your, i would be intrigued do, do you feel a, be a connection as in like a personal connection to the brand like if they um say something silly on like instagram or would you like be upset by that for yeah, example or would you defend or, them like, yeah mm. yeah exactly that's another good one so i think i'd be intrigued i if think you, there's some brands out there folks, who would, if you're but, at home mm. and you wearing your louis vuitton slash chanel slash whatever the high quality mm. stuff is uh, first of all, thank you for listening to the peasants of the mere mortals. But, <laughs> but you know, are you out there buying for a particular reason? Like, do you purchase emotionally? Do you purchase because you're emotionally attached to the company? Yeah. Or are you are you purely purchasing for the fact of you know you get to look like X person or this richy rich sort of person? Which is you know whatever. That's the reason. If that's your reason, that's the reason. I wouldn't agree with it, but I mean everyone has reasons for it. But it'd be. I'd be keen to hear from the mere mortal lights. Yeah, what, me too. What their me too. Are. And so. I think that's a that's a good place to end it. So, uh, yeah, everyone out there, if you're if you're listening in, I would love to know if you're a weebo too. If you're a simp, <laughs> I would love to know what animes you get into. Mm. There's a uh, there's so many good ones out there, man. I actually have to stop myself sometimes from being like. I have, do not have that no. issue. Yeah, no. no, the I do I do sometimes because there's mm. some which yeah just right up my alley and, yep. and I'm like oh, oh no really want to watch this yeah 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 I'll I'll stay away from that for the for the time being mm. so we'd love to know all those things what is uh, your 
chill out your pure entertainment? Those are also fun questions. If the answer is not mere mortalites or the mere mortals, <laughs> yeah. then yeah. you need to try harder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more. And yeah, if you can uh, leave wherever you are listening, if you can leave a review on iTunes, that helps us out. If you're on the, uh, what do you call it, YouTube, leave a comment. Leave a comment, people. I'm here. I'm, I'm always here. Mm-hmm. You can, you can get He's always checking. Me. He's always checking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, all, I'm always watching. I'm always watching. And that's it uh, for today. Wani, can you take us away, please? That's all, folks. That's it. One out. Current out. Bye. <laughs>